Hi Georgetown, my name is Arthur Rodriguez. I'm a current junior in the SFS studying STIA, and for the last semester I've been a student at Universidad Complutense de Madrid studying political science. I know that Katie and Cindy have already given you all great, great tours of Madrid, and I'm hoping to provide one more perspective and hopefully answer any of the questions you may have about the experience. So come on, this should be fun. Now that I'm on my commute to school, just wanted to take a second to talk about Complutense. Basically, Universidad Complutense is one of the biggest public schools in Madrid and is split up into different facultades or faculties. This is basically the equivalent of the MSB, the college, the NHS, and the SFS, except for the fact that these facultades um, have predetermined classes. As soon as you enter college, you know what classes you'll be taking for the next four years with about four spaces that can be optional for electives. Um, this is so because it's very rigid and because the Spanish system um, is very direct, you know exactly what you're taking, um, and it's very different in that way from the American system. And as American study abroad students, we actually have the privilege of being able to take different classes in different faculties or facultades. So as a student in SFS, I'm taking three classes in political science, one in history, and then another class with other Americans. But a Spanish student would only be able to take classes within one faculty, whether it be all biology, all business, or all political science. If you happen to take political science classes at Complutense, then you will also have to travel to the other campus of Complutense, which is Somosawas, which is this building right ahead of us. Honestly, better than Healy, don't miss Georgetown at all. Was wandering through the streets of Madrid and look around. Hey Georgetown, thank you so much for coming around with me today. And before I go, I want to touch on a couple things that I think are important to know when studying abroad in Madrid. One of the most important things being where you'll be living. You have two options if you choose to study abroad in Madrid with Georgetown. Basically, you can either choose a homestay, in which case you stay in a room dedicated to you um, in the home of a host family. Um, for me personally, that has meant my host sister um, currently studying abroad in Athens, I'm occupying her room while she's gone. Meanwhile, I have my host brother here with me in Madrid, as well as my host mother, Sonia, whom I love very, very much. <laughs> the other option is living in a residencia, or a residency, which is an off-campus um, college dorm-style residency, um, in which case you'd be cooking your own meals, um, you would share a kitchen with one other student, but oftentimes that could be someone who's not part of Georgetown at all, which can be a great experience. It can be otherwise. It definitely depends on what you put into it. Personally, I love my host family. I think we are matched very well. I don't think I would have learned Spanish culture as easily had I not been in a host family. And of course, I get to practice my Spanish every meal with them. So there are a lot of benefits coming with um, being within a family. This is my room. My host sister is currently studying abroad in Athens, Greece, so I have taken over the room until she comes back. <laughs> um, here's my closet, and that's it. And that concludes my OGE Instagram takeover. Thank you so much, Hoyas, for coming on this journey with me, and I'll see you back in the fall. Until then.